We're here with Tegan Pasolacqua of Turley Wine Cellars. We're up on a windy spot in the Mont Seo vineyard. Tell us exactly where we are. So right now we're at the northern edge of the Moon Mountain AVA in Sonoma Valley, the, one of the newer AVAs in Sonoma. Uh, so just on the Sonoma side of the the Mayacamas range. And we've got to raise our voices a little bit because it's windy up here, yes, obviously. Sure. Uh, nice cool spot, late spot. It's a late pruning we're in late february now yes late pruning because you don't have frost protection correct no right. frost protection up here but you got some old cabernet up here even though you're primarily a zinfandel producer yes. this cabernet was planted 1964 so it's uh planted on saint george rootstock and it's always been dry farm and one of the things about there not being a lot of old vine cabernet in california is because of, of the pruning issue talk about yeah, that a little so bit. cabernet is a little bit more susceptible to utypa than Say Zinfandel, Petit Syrah is also very susceptible. You have to but make these big cuts. You when, see when, the yeah. big cuts that you make, and uh, the the fungus you type of is just a, it has a bit more of a chance of getting a strong hold in Cabernet than other varieties. So that's what you just did over here. Yes. Show us this one. So Chewy's crew would have come through. They would have cut the trunk off, but last year they left a sucker. So they left a shoot that was above the rootstock union and they trained that up they made sure it was established and then came back and cut off the trunk and we can actually see the sap coming up and that's exactly. something that you, you want to see at this time of year that helps yeah that acts as a barrier for the utypa and so you're replanting vine by vine here just to keep this vineyard going as... exactly so you can see they replanted about you know an acre and a half two acres over the last couple of years and you like this vineyard's characteristic because it reminds you I think it reminds me of the old Mayakamas wines, and maybe that's an aspirational comment, but uh, you know, it's a dark flavor, lively tannins, classic Cabernet herbaceousness, and just to me, it tastes like Cabernet, how it's supposed to taste.